Hey guys, this is Arkel here, and I'm back with another little video, although this was not the video that I intended to make. Um, <laughs> for those of you guys who watched my previous video and you guys already know, but I did actually receive a shipping notice for my Fairyland Real Fee May in mint skin, and uh, she was supposed to arrive today, and she kind of did. <laughs> Um, yes, for any of you guys who are familiar with Fairyland sculpts, you guys already know right away that this is not the May sculpt, this is actually the Penno sculpt. Um, it seems that DDE has unfortunately sent me the wrong sculpt, at least as far as the face is concerned. Everything else seems to be perfectly fine in order. She is on the girl body and also is, has the little bunny parts and uh, is also in the minty skin. Everything else is, seems to be absolutely fine. The only issue is they sent the wrong face, so that is a super, super big bummer. Um, but I thought I would go ahead and make this video anyway, just to go ahead and show you guys um, the rest of her anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, and show you guys the minty skin and just the real feline, since I don't think I've really seen too many people that have made videos of them yet. Uh, especially not with the mint skin. I don't think I've really seen any. Um, so I thought I would go ahead and show you guys her anyway. Um, uh, again, excuse my camera, it sucks. Um, she's standing on a bento box. Um, but yes, yeah, so hopefully if it, if it focuses, you guys can kind of see a little bit better. Um, the minty skin is absolutely gorgeous. It's exactly what I was hoping it, it would be. I don't know what it'll appear like on the video. Um, it's probably interpreting it more blue. I noticed that a lot of cameras seem to do that, but in real life it is definitely, like, it's definitely mint. It's not like a blue color, um, although it does have a blue tint to it, of course. It's not like a bright green, um, but it is definitely in the realm of mint, uh, and it's, it's a really, really lovely color, um, but I don't know if it'll capture so well on the camera. I think it looks like it's more blue in the camera but it is super, super perfect for what I have in mind. Um, but yes, yeah, so I thought I'd just go ahead and show you guys. Um, <laughs> so this was a little bit unexpected. I didn't really plan to encounter this scenario, but the Pano sculpt, if my camera will focus, is actually super, super adorable. Um, it's much, much cuter in person than I thought it was originally, so that is a nice surprise. And it's just nice to, like, see this sculpt in real life, too, I guess. Um, since I don't really go to meetups or anything like that, so I never usually get to see dolls that I don't own. Um, so it's just nice to actually, like, see it in person. That's really, really cool. But, of course, I hope everything gets sorted out soon, and whoever this little adorable cutie belongs to, um will be able to get their proper doll. <laughs> um, I'm worried that maybe someone else might actually have my May, so we, we shall see what happens, um, what they decide to do. Um, but as long as it's fixed, I'm perfectly fine with whatever happens. Um, it doesn't really upset me that it got mixed up. Accidents happen. And truth be told, I'm like super unprepared for a little bunny girl anyway. I still have so much more things to work on for her and to get for her. I didn't think she'd uh, ship so soon. So truth be told, I don't mind that the mix-up happened at all. Um, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, of course I do want my May to be home, <laughs> but I, I don't mind. It's all right. Accidents happen, like I said. So anyway, like I said, don't want this video to be too long, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you this little cutie and show you the little, she has her little wings on as well, but I don't know how well you can see them. Um, and they are super, super adorable. I don't have her bunny ears on right now because um, I just think they look kind of silly with the ears that Pano has. And also, I don't want to glue the magnets in. <laughs> um, just in case, you know, I have to send it back and whatnot. We'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, she has a little tail on too, but you can't see it. And oh, by the way, before I go, these guys are freaking amazing posers. Like, I will have to make a video or something, or post some pictures that show you guys all of their awesome poses. Of course, Fairyland posted a ton of them as well, but they can do such amazing awesome poses. They are ridiculous. 
They're so, so cool. So I'm super, super happy with everything about this little one, aside from the face that is incorrect, although it is adorable. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd go just go ahead and show you guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we shall see what happens. I will definitely update you guys and of course show you when my May does actually arrive. Um, but until then, <laughs> here is a uh, real fee Peno on the bunny girl body and the designer mint skin, if I got that correctly. So, yes. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I also got the uh, event. Let me see if I can grab it here. Can I? Can I do this? Uh, oh, uh, there we go. Can you see that? Yes. No. Can you, there you go. <laughs> I also got the Pookie Fee So So um, event faceplate. I doubt that I'll be keeping it <laughs> since I don't own a Pookie Fee and I have no idea what I do with it. But it's uh, it's super mischievous and adorable. So that's super cool too. Uh, I also have the human legs for this one as well. Um, but again, I don't know if I'll ever use those either. <laughs> so, yes, look at those bento boxes. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so, so very much for watching. And hopefully you like this little cutie, uh, despite them not being the right sculpt. Or if you were just interested in seeing a real fee, um, or real fee Pano, then hopefully this video is somewhat okay. It's quality is crappy as always but <laughs> thank you guys so 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 very much for watching and yeah hopefully it'll all get fixed out soon <laughs>